Hi everyone, Sam Quentin with Sinopa Publishing right here in Frankfort, Kentucky, and we are once again trying to shoot an episode of Words with Willow. Hopefully this time everyone will be able to hear us. Willow? So today what we're going to be talking about is my art and stuff and how I've been working on it. Right. Uh, a couple of years ago I bought Willow a, um, a couple of books on how to draw and like how, how to draw manga and, and other stuff like that. And she really didn't do anything with it. But a couple, about two weeks ago, she took and um, decided she wanted to do some drawing. And I suggested maybe she should take a look at that. And she put some actual effort, some real practice into it. And so now every day she's been practicing about a half hour. Now, we've had a few conversations about this, um, including some stuff we shot on videos that we're now not going to release because apparently people can't hear them. Um, by the way, we think that we fixed the audio problem. If we haven't, please comment below. Please. Because we want to make sure people are hearing what we have to say. All right, so um, with that, we, we talked about, you know, as you improve your art, getting to the point where maybe here in, in three or four years, you can have space at the Sonopa table uh, conventions where you do, like, uh, art for people at the con, right? Yes, sir. So what do you think about that? Does it sound exciting? Does it make you nervous? Is it something you want to do? Do you like the idea of making art for other people? Tell, tell me what you think about so, this. So what I think about it is, like, I'm really excited to start doing it because whenever I am going to do it, people will be able to, like, see the art like up close other than on videos which we are going to put them on the um things well we'll have you make some, some of them we'll have you make some thumbnails for some, some of these videos some yeah. thumbnails right so so that way they can see it like up close so that way they can have their art from me and if they want me to sign it i can now so. you're also blind in one eye do you think that causes you some problems when you make your art it doesn't really, cause I can see perfectly well out of this eye. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm working on it. Like I can kind of see out of this eye a bit. So I've been working on using this eye a lot. So I've been like looking out and making sure like that's two, that's like three. How many is this? Uh, three. How many is this? Oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> here, here, let's take it off the screen so you don't see it. How many is this? Uh, four. No. Three. Huh? Three. How many is this? Two. Okay, good job. You got two of those right. All right, cool. Good deal. Um, but no, back to back to the business at hand. Um, doing art at conventions, people usually pay you for stuff. So you're going to want to make sure that your art is up to snuff to be able to, you know, be something that people want to buy and that they can enjoy for years to come. So you've you've got a few years of work ahead of you. Do you, yes, do you find that at all intimidating, um, that you've got to practice day and day and day and day and day to get to the point where you're that good? Um, I don't find it really intimidating because, like, I want to make some art for people to enjoy. Mm -hmm. And if they don't enjoy it, well, then that means I have more work to do to continue working on doing it so that way people can enjoy the art that I make for them. Right. Now, if you're at the Sonopa table, you're going to have to make art that reflects Sonopa characters. Yes, sir. What do you think about that? What I think about that is because I've already tried um, making the Samurai Squirrel once, and it kind of came out good, kind of didn't. Um, if I keep it was, on... It was good for a beginner, yeah. Yes, sir. If I continue practicing and practicing and practicing, maybe, just maybe, I can um, be able to do it someday. Mm -hmm. So, that's what I think about that. Yeah, I, I, think, that's a, I think that's a good mm -hmm. realistic ambition. It's probably going to be three or four years before you're ready. Yes, sir. Um, now, what, would you, what do you think um, is your favorite Sinopa character that you would want to draw? Um, probably rain, right there. Probably rain? Mm-hmm. Why, why do you like rain so much? Because she's, like, really, really pretty, and her sword is really pretty, too. And okay. I just think her character's design overall is really nice. Yeah, the original mm -hmm. design was by Nick Capone, mm -hmm. 
And the poster that she's referencing off camera is the Aisha Ghoul Senev cover art for issue two. So that's a really pretty piece, huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, now, with doing art at the con, you're going to need your supplies. Yes, sir. You're going to need a what they call a rate chart because you'll have like different options. Like, do you just want a sketch of a face and head? Do you want like a upper body? Mm -hmm. Do you want color on it? That kind of thing. Yes. I would probably recommend if you're doing art at co conventions, especially when you're first doing it, just to do like the, the sketches because otherwise you're going to yes, tie sir. up a lot of time and people don't want to wait a really long time for their art. Yes, sir. Because uh, it might take an hour or more for you to finish a sketch. Yes, sir. But you know what's interesting? You get paid for doing that. Yes, sir. What do you think about that? I think that's pretty cool. And so, because I want to help out the business and make sure that I'm contributing to the business a bit. Yeah, but that wouldn't be business money. That would be your money. Yes, sir, but like... So I, maybe you could use it to buy, you know, things you need, like other yes, art supplies? Yes, sir. Like maybe like that. Or maybe stuff for your guitar? Yes, sir. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh, speaking of my guitar, I've been practicing a lot recently, and I can almost play like a little melody thing yeah, well that my you've... teacher has taught me. Yep. Well, you've only been doing lessons for a couple of weeks, oh. so that's pretty good. All right, so back to um, the, with the con experience stuff, you know, when you're grown, I mean, if, you're, if you get really good with your art when you're grown and you can have your own tables even at cons that daddy's not at, do you think you can figure out how to do that? Is that something that having done conventions with daddy that'll be easier you think because you've done them before or do you think it'll still be still be hard it might be still it's it might still be a bit tricky because like i'm gonna have to like figure out the prices and stuff of course i'm probably still gonna be able to do like the prices for like what i've already been doing but if i want to add like another thing with like art that I've already done and I've already laid out that I'm going to have to figure out the prices for that too. Right, but you can also make mm -hmm. prints and sell those. Yes, sir. A lot of artists make prints of, of their uh, properties, right? Yes, sir. I might do that too. And you'll be you'll be able to because you and your brother will be co-owners on Sinopa, yes, so sir. That'll, that, those properties yes, sir. will hand down to you guys. Yes, sir. So, of course, I might use some of the printers when I'm old enough Whenever I like some of the printers we use. Yes, sir. Like some okay. of the printers that we use, whenever I'm trying to like do the art and stuff. So. So, Alexia Welthausen was drawing since she was very very little to get as good as she is, you know. And then she went to school at the Kubert School to learn how to draw even better. Maybe we can get like um, some of the instruction books from from uh, the school or, or so once you're a little bit bigger and try that or maybe their correspondence course mm -hmm. or okay. maybe like their um, virtual thing like we've talked about yeah I, I don't know if they're still doing it though but we'll, we'll check we'll ask Nick Capone and, and Fernando Ruiz if they're still doing virtual because okay. that might be interesting yes sir yeah or maybe maybe we could hire one of the artists to teach you when you're a little older Ooh. That maybe sounds... maybe buy some pays for some individual lessons mm -hmm. from people like I, uh, Alexia, or Aisha, or Damien, or Nick, or Fernando. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe we could or do that. Or Pete. Ooh. Maybe yeah. we could do that. Yeah. Sounds good, huh? Yes, sir. So that way I can like get to like maybe their skill level. So that way I can like draw like them. It's gonna be a lot of years of work, baby. Yes, sir. I know. Maybe if we're really lucky, maybe we can get Sandra Cole to show you some stuff. I know, right? <laughs> so you've got you've got artwork from Sandra on your bedroom wall. Mm -hmm. That's that big um, Titania the Fairy Queen poster, yes, huh? Yeah. The big one. Yeah. Big one. So this Words with Willow segment is a lot about testing our audio and kind of catching up on some uh, some topics that we have basically lost because of bad audio on previous recordings. Uh, again, big huge thank you to everyone who. Thank you, know, you. Reached out to us and said, hey, we still can't hear you. I'm still not 100% certain that the video, uh, pardon me, that the audio problem has been solved, but I'm hopeful that this will resolve the issue. And please comment down below if you still can't quite hear us that well. Well. Or if there's like any problems. If you so. can't hear us well, they probably wouldn't hear us say that. So, guys, on the other side of that, 
if you can hear us, if you can make it out real well, if you're able to understand what's going on in these videos, please do comment below, and uh, hopefully this won't be a, a problem any longer. Mm -hmm. So, we'll wrap this one up. Make sure to like and subscribe. Follow us for more on um, Twitter, social media, stuff like that. Twitter, so YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and then everywhere else we're at. We're on Kick also, but I haven't really posted anything to Kick yet. Um, and make sure to turn on that notification bell to all, so that way you know when any other videos are updated. And the plan right now is to relieve mm -hmm. one, release one segment of Words with Willow each week. And what we'll do is we'll record batches and then play through them. Uh, that way she's not tying up a lot of her time um, throughout the week. And she can do them in bunches and we can get them out. And then I'll be recording segments as we go as well. Um, but we'll probably have you do um, take some time and do two thumbnails. And we'll do those yes, for, not for this video, but for some future videos that yes, we'll sir. record. And I've then, already um, got like one drawing done so i'm still working on another okay. drawing which we i used, think it's going to turn out really good we used an ai generated thumbnail for the one where you talked about you know giving ai rocket launchers <laughs> i i don't know where that came from she's just like yeah ai is gonna win because they have rocket launchers so i was like what? <laughs> who gave who gave artificial intelligence rocket launchers so Me? If, if you haven't don't say that the feds will show up Anyway, <laughs> that's a discussion for a different day. So we've gone way off the rails. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, check us out next time. Thanks for your patience, and we'll see you soon.